Do you even know who the fuck I am? Do ya? Alright, what is up guys? We are back with another How to Drive Track Guide. I missed Knoxville last week. I had the shit for it and just didn't really want to do it. I had other videos in mind and tried to make them and I thought they were shit because uh, as this YouTube channel blows up and explodes and our cult gets bigger and bigger, our cult of drivers that know what the fuck they're doing, I want to put a little more effort in. I try. I try to show like I give effort. And they just they just weren't up to the standards I wanted. This week we got Lima Land. And this is a very, very... Um, I think this track is the most driver-sensitive track. And what I mean by that is the line varies so much depending on where cars run. It doesn't. It's not like in Eldora where it will just flow up to the top and stay there. It's very much a race can be one on the bottom, it could be one in the middle, it could be one on the top, just depending how many cars there are and where they run. And because of that, because of that, I think we're just gonna say, fuck this shit. Get this paint motherfucking out of here. All right, because we're not, we can't, we can't keep up with what's gonna happen. So we have this race of this replay of this race that um, we just did. It was a pretty good fucking race. And um, like I said, uh, it, was, it was started off clean. It didn't get any of those brand new random icy spots uh, that you see now. Um, but I just ran so many different. That's what I love. That's fucking, that's what I love is a race where I run three or four different lines throughout it because it's just moving around you're shifting you're looking for dirt that's my kind of shit you know oh it didn't start off slick i don't give a fuck you know if it would have started slick we would have just been running the top all 30 laps this was a good fun racetrack and uh but yeah and that's why it's really important to know the lines because also slide jobs here are a motherfucker <laughs> You're just wasting time when you're throwing a slide job on someone unless you can get it set up right and perfect and hope they make a mistake because you're just going to go out there and fucking spin the car out at two or out of four. So that's what makes this track tough. Like I said, depending on where everybody runs, it, it just makes, you know, the racing so good um, or not, not, not so good, but uh, different, you know, um, so I think we're just gonna go on board with me and we're gonna, I'm just gonna kind of explain what line, why and where I'm running what line for every particular lap that, uh, that there is. Um, Cause that's really the only way I know I can really think about doing it. Um, when it starts clean and qualifying it's bottom and you really gotta, I guess I can pull up paint for this real quick. It's really just, it's really just arc the tires in. Um, I'll do this again do this just for Q just for Q now I qualified mid pack because my bottom went away but you, know, you can't even see the flag stand but you really want to get in and arc hard and get off straight um, a lot of people just come in and kind of you know try to hit an apex that ain't the way to do it son that ain't the way to do it um, but yeah then or you'll, you'll get your slick spot just like Fairbury at the top on the entrance and then a little bit on exit and then you see it goes away it's harder to turn in it's harder to get off you're gonna slip and then the middle is really fussy here in any car well in a late model in a late model you can just kind of slide it to the middle and come down um, but in a non-wing fuck uh, in a non-wing in a sprint car uh, wing the middle is really fussy and tough to hit um, Generally, it's bottom of three and four, um, but sometimes you just skip the middle overall and go run the top and then like the hook the bottom, and it's same thing in three and four. Uh, you just come in, and well, you don't, you don't, you still want to arc it, um, but there's a lot more, there's a lot more room on exit, I should say, where your car stays lower, so you don't have to arc it as much to get a long straightaway, where you just get so much pull out of bottom of four. Um, Oh, I think I said it in one of my videos, like I said, where you always want to be in qualifying generally as low as you can be out of four. This is one of those tracks. <clears throat> um, otherwise, if there's a slick spot just around the bottom for Q, run like top one and two, and then just right above it, the middle and three and four. Like I said, 
Maybe one and two, tricky three and four, not as much. Um, there is this weird transition in bacon, banking where it might throw the wheel out of your hand. Just ignore it. Just get through it. <laughs> that happened to me last one of the feature on this. Um, and you got to be careful too on that second. There's that, like that second tier of banking, um, like right here, like a lane down. Um, sometimes the middle gets pushed up so much, then people. Like, okay, I'll just go a little bit higher, but then you hit that top tier of banking then with the, just their right rear, and then they pretty much just spin out because it brings their car around because the banking's so extreme at the top. So it's better to just go for the top and go a long way around but carry the momentum. <clears throat> um, but yeah, that's called, and heats. Heats are generally around the top. Um, yeah, so we're going to get out of that. We'll dive into our race here. Let's go cockpit. Let's zoom to the start. So we start outside front row. Um, lap one. So we take a look. We got slick. We got slick on them. Um, I think this was my camera. Let's play with this. So you see, we got slick right now. Oh, fuck, I wish I could. You got slick right here. Um, entry of one. Um, just on the entry of one, nothing in the middle, and then exit. So, first lap, um, you, yeah, I mean, you could risk it. You could get a run on a guy, you know, if you get a big run, you know, you can clear him, and you can be going and do what you want in the three and four, but I just played it safe, ran through the middle, because there's a ton of grip in the middle, um, and that's just why I chose the middle here, and it, I mean, it worked out, uh, proper. Whoopsie. Oh, here, here you can see the very nice slick patch camera all right you know, save this. here we to get the middle dig you see how the bottom car had to just over rotate a little bit and we were just able to keep our momentum up in the middle and like i said we would have been able to get probably even with them if we entered on top but then you see this slick that started in there we broke our car a little bit sideways a little bit on exit we're going to be able to carry momentum as much but we were able to do that we were able to get clear and this is right where that did that really weird thing in the, that lower banking where that transition is. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to see it on the cockpit. Uh, yeah, so it was just really weird and that put us back, put us back two spots. So middle worked out first time, so we'll try it again. Um, there was no reason to go up top either because we were so slow out of turn four, so we have no momentum. When you're running the top, um, you really have to carry speed into the corners, and this is a general rule of thumb. So if you're if you don't have a lot of speed out of the last corner, if something happened um, where you made a mistake, you got sideways, and you're not carrying momentum, that's the worst time to go to the top because then um, you're like I said, you're just making it the longer way around, but you're also doing it at slower speed. So because you're at slower speed, you generally either try to hit the bottom, hit the middle, whatever, depending on the track, depending on the line that it is right now. I was digging this chopper can. So we might roll with this chopper cam for a bit. Um, so we just roll middle again, and um, same thing on this end. That time we were we we're you know we didn't hit that you know weird little transition. Um, it it doesn't it's not a thing that happens at the lap, but it's it's something to be aware of. So here the guy in front of us was uh, gonna arc in the corner right here. You see they were gonna if they were gonna ran the top they would have had a bad time. Um, because they weren't entering above it, they were going to slick up to it in the slick. So we assume that they're going to run either the middle or the bottom. Um, and it, so we run the top here. Uh, looks like they went to the bottom. But that is just, that is a general. I cut a, you know, if I thought they were going top, I would have cut under and tried to probably snake the bottom. Um, but when you see a guy like this kind of half a lane off the wall, um, you generally know he's going to go to the, you know, I thought maybe he'd go to the middle because that was the fast line the last two laps through there. So, and I didn't want to follow them. That's why we chose the high side here. Let's go back to our chopper cam. So, we get the safe through the top. Carry our momentum good first time. Had to do a little bit of this. Um, this time, you know, he came up one at the top again. I'm not sure if he ran it the last lap around. No, you're in the middle in three and four. Um, so, yeah, he comes up and I just have to lift a little bit. Again, don't want to follow someone into the corner. Well, I just don't don't generally don't, don't like following someone in the corner, but um, especially when they come in at a bad angle like this, like I said, that's either going to slag up and they're going to get loose, or I'm going to be carrying a ton of speed, and we're going to we're going to have to hit the brakes, otherwise we're going to spin them out. 
Um, otherwise, they're going to overdrive the entrance and hit the slick, and then they're going to pancake the wall. That's why we cut down, just like I said in the one and two. If he woulda came up, I woulda cut down. Same thing, the exact thing happened here. He came up, so I get cut down. Um, didn't get the wrong, we won it off, exactly. Um, I don't know what we do. What do, we do? Could've went up and tried to follow him to the top, we're trusting in the middle. Just doesn't have the speed on exit. We didn't really hit the bottom. Um, we didn't have the we didn't have the angle into the corner because we were laying down, so we didn't get the arc in the corner as much as we needed to to get the drip off the bottom to hit that moisture right below his slick patch right there. Um, so fall in line again. All right, let's try to bottom all the way. Same thing, just can't carry the speed out. So we flow up to the top. You know, you see, you, that allows the guys to peak low, but you know. The top is king for carrying momentum on the high bank racetracks. Here we're just flowing back to that middle line. Back to that middle line. Trying something different there. You saw he caught the wall a little bit. Okay, here we got the grip a little bit better off the bottom. Remember two laps ago we were side by side in the one and two. Um, this time we learned our lesson. Um, we knew we had to get the car angled in a little bit more and stay below it to get that drive off. You can run the best corner in one and two. Close race in there. Um, I think I ran the middle last time. Um, he probably wanted me to slide up to it. Just was able to get through that. Could have been contact, but I was just racing, you know, chopping a little bit. Felt I had the position going in the corner. Uh, same thing right here. I had a nose on him, so I could take the middle just before him. I'm like chopping him again. A little chop suey again. He tries to hit break up arc the corner and get the bottom off. Doesn't really get it. We don't like the middle. We go back to the top. Start getting it rolling. We'll just go to we'll go to cockpit view just to see what uh Okay, okay, went bottom oh we went bottom down here because we saw a car crashing up bottom. That guy crashing out of two. We knew yellow was gonna come out once the leader got through there, but we'll just go around and onboard cockpit view of the race so you can see you can see how the middle kind of you know how the slick spots right here you know you can't carry that momentum off and then on the bottom you still have to slow down and arc it so much so um but that's one and two three and four you see there's a lot less slick on exit it's not as much it, it's a lot later out of the corner whereas in turn two you see how it's and that's one thing that affects the momentum a lot too is where the further the slick backs up into the corner so right here you get it um I guess it's on corner exit. It comes together once you hit the straightaway, but it's a little further down the straightaway in three and four. Um, so yeah. Go for a restart. All right, go bottom. I think bottom's in. Like I said, we were able to kind of try that too, just before that yellow, um, because because of that car up up top. So we were able to snake the bottom. So we liked it. Thought it felt good. One and two, it's a lot harder than three and four at the moment. Three and four, we're able to... We should go far chase for this one. So three and four, we don't have a lot much slick on entrance. So we we're able to grip up the car and be able to kind of arc it and turn down into it and get a good run off. Get it and exit straighter. We're in three and... Or in one and two, it's a lot slicker just in the middle there. That's what affected it. So we can't turn down through the slick as much because um, it's going to get your over-rotate your car. You saw it a little bit right there. Right here, you see how there's no slick right here? There's a little bit, it's a little slimy, you can't see it yet, but you're able to drive through it good. And, you know, I'm still very much on the throttle a lot. Pay attention to my throttle as I'm running these. Leader gets in a little trouble with the tires. Here we're arcing in, probably arcing in too much. Like I said, that's one of my mistakes I make while running the bottom. Um, I always try to arc it in and like get the best apex possible because I'm like, yeah, that's how you, you know, that's how you run the bottom, your best apex possible. No, not on dirt. On dirt, look at how much I'm spinning out through this slick. So I'm costing myself a car length or so. Let's see if the guy behind me. Cost, I'm costing myself like two car lanes on entry. I'll get a good exit if I hit it right, but you know, there's a happy medium there. There's a happy medium. There's enough grip on bottom where I can hit the bottom and still maintain so much speed where I don't have to arc it in so much. So, um, you know, I it, it, it I kind of flowed into it from my exit because I didn't exit too good. So, 
it kind of, you know, I kind of bailed out of staying low and because if I would have tried to stay low down here, I would have had to kept the car turned a little bit more. It would cost me a little bit of time. So that's why I washed up and kept it straight. So it, it kind of off balanced, but just keep that in mind. Arc and make arc in the apex as tight as you can. I mean, look at it, it, it. I mean, fuck it. I don't know. It helped here, but the leader didn't run a good. He entered way too straight, and he had to slow his car up way too much. So it looks like it really helped, but it wasn't perfect. I got 90% out of that lap when instead of 100%. If that makes sense. Like I said, you got. It's all about. It's all about getting the most speed out of the line that you run. The best drivers. Even if they can't run the fastest line on the racetrack, they can get the most speed out of the secondary line. Um, or when they do, you know, when they do, they get out in the slick where they don't want to be and have to arc it. They can still get the most speed out of that situation, and that's where um, you see a lot of the mid pack drivers. They can't, they can't adapt as fast. They can't be like, all right, this guy shot down the track, this guy went up. Now I have to go run the middle. They can't hit a perfect middle corner. They can't adapt as quick like that. They can't go get 100%, 90%, 95% speed out of that corner. They'll generally go in, overdrive, underdrive, get sideways, do something, and only get 70% of speed out of the corner. Um, that's where um, you really separate the top tier guys from um, like the secondary tier guys. You know, There's a lot of people that can go, go out and say run the same line lap after lap after lap that can do that very very fast but how much can they adapt when you know you get to lap traffic or something like that where you can't where you just when you you know when someone else is running the fast line can you adapt and get the most out of the secondary line <clears throat> so they're over rotate on bottom a little bit too much i'll keep the overlay up just to see my throttle inputs a little bit here we moved up to the middle um thought it, like i said thought it might have been going away a little bit in one and two so we try to run this grip here, and then we're not really sure what's here. Those crumbs are all over that slick that was there. So you gotta be careful on that exit. You see how we still, even like midway down the straight over here, getting a little bit sideways. Run the middle there, a lot of grip will laying down in one and two, in three and four. Didn't look at one and two last time. Hit that middle grip again, and see how much we're able to, how much more we're on the throttle when we're just got up here. Yeah, you know, those crumbs got shot up more, but now we hit, because remember that slick is underneath these. So we just use this tack. We're on the throttle so much more on exit. We're so much straighter on exit. Tucker ran the middle there in three and four again, but get the momentum rolling on top. Slide job. Weird lift. Um, here we can hit that middle. Looks like it's very good right now. I think it's probably laying down on both ends right now. We get another slide job that we probably could have slipped. We probably we should have drove around. We'll go onboard view on the. We'll, be, we'll go back to the other one. Um, I think I probably could have drove around both of these, um, but I was just playing it safe. So here we go. And we saw, like I said, we don't follow the we don't follow the leader in the corner. Just run something different for the sake of running something different. You're not going to pass somebody. That's probably the biggest thing to get from this. You're not going to pass somebody running the same exact line as them <laughs> that's that's it, it sounds like a really obvious statement but i mean fuck the amount of it, it it aggravates the fuck out of me when i see someone faster or they have a run and then they just follow the person off in a corner i'm like what use it you gotta do something different if you want to pass them eventually and so many times people just follow people around and even though they're faster than them and then they'll just run into the back of them too and it's like what do you expect to happen that just goes through them no and especially on like the slider line if if you know someone's running the slider line in front of you and then you just run the slider line behind them and it's like what do you expect to happen how do you expect to pass them here what do you, you there's nothing all right, maybe they slide up and they hit the wall. Well, guess what? When you're running the slider line behind them too, you're not going to have anywhere to go because you're sliding up the racetrack. You're not. You're going to have to stop to not hit them if they make a mistake. What do they do? They over rotate in front of you on exit. Where are you going to go? You can't. That's why you following people's slider lines the worst. But in general, following people into the corners is a no no. Hit um, the middle. Going off on tangents. Um, 
And we got the lead. I think he hit the wall or something just there. But, uh, slider back, and uh, I could have just went up to the wall and probably had to drive around this, but I mean, we both just stopped mid pack and then brought other cars in. Let's go for our chase. I think things got hectic right here. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Hey, yeah! Ah, yeah, let's just run in there. <laughs> Alright. I get... He could have thought I was shooting up to the top right here. Um, possibly. Um, but yeah, like I said, just... Like I say, just drive following people in the corners when you have a big run of momentum. Easy thing was would have been carrying up. I see... Like I said, I, I kind of shoot my right rear. You see that? Like, I sling it up. Like, I could be slagging top, but he was already committed to coming down to the bottom. So, uh... Yeah. Son, listen up. Uh, let's see the bottom again here. I'm not sure what's... Okay, let's assess what's happening around us. So they're just all moving top. And we don't really have... We don't run middle because we don't have a good angle into it. If we would have been up by the wall here, we probably would have ran the middle in three and four there. But um, because we couldn't arc down into the middle... We would have we would have went up and we would have to get either get, we would have either probably missed it because um, we would have carried too much speed and hit the slick up here and had to go on to the top. Um, do you see how he cuts down from the wall and hits it? He's able to you're able to carry you're able to have the car so much straighter through the middle and that's one thing. That's one thing about Lima Land specifically too. In order to hit the middle, you have to be arcing it from the wall. You're not going to be able to be side by side in the corner with someone. Then they run the top and you run the middle. It's going to be very difficult because you, you end up having to arc the corner so much more. You're making... Fuck, I wish I had paint up. Um, you're, having to, and you're having to make the... You're just making a smaller circle out of it instead of a wider corner. It's stuff I talked about before. You get it. You understand. I hope. Um, so we kind of have to grab bottom out of this. Out of it, uh, bottom, bottom again, again, still struggling out of, out of, uh, out of, uh, two. Um, well, I just did the same thing I talked about, and I ran the middle of the straightaway, then into the middle of the corner. Um, so bad job. They can get the, they can get 100% of the speed out of the, out of the corner, but, um, I mean, it didn't hurt us, in the, it didn't hurt us much in that game. I mean, we kind of ran bottom there, uh, but we came out the same spot. Now, now there's a little bit of crumbs. Do you see that tack there? But you're not really sure where the slick is because there's so much crumbs out of the corner here. So we're kind of just we're kind of just diming in the corner a little bit to make sure we're straight on exit. We're coming down the hill. View it that way, just just to help us because we don't know where the slick is. So we can kind of come out straight. We want to come out. The goal is to come out straighter. Or, uh, once we hit the slick and make it easier and not lose as much speed. That's one thing I talk about when I say you when you get 90% of the corner speed out of 100% of the corner speed. You could have ran the middle, but you may have gotten a little loose there on exit. Dime a little bit. Maximize your lane. You gotta know what line you're going in, into the corner, what you plan to run. Like, you, granted, when you're racing around people like this, it's it gets hectic because you're not sure. The line is changing depending on where everyone goes. Um... But, like, when you're just racing with one other car, or not even, when you're just by yourself, you need to know every single corner what lane you're going to run and stick to it. You know, a lot of people, they just, they're just driving, they're panicking, and then they get into the corner, and it's like, oh, no, okay, what do I do now? No, you got to you gotta pick a line and commit to it, and then try to get, and know what you have to do, where you have to lift, how much you have to arc to get the most speed out of it. Oh, oh. Okay, so there's, uh... Yeah, see here, so you're behind three wide. So there's a good learning point. So you're not gonna you're not gonna be able to so let's say the bottom car takes the bottom, the middle car takes the middle, the top car takes the top. There's not gonna be anywhere for me to go at any point in this at all. Um uh, I guess other best case scenario would be just follow the lane on top because that's what carries the momentum around wait for the guys on the bottom to make a mistake um but what we end up doing okay so the contact there kind of led to the contact there because um, he ended up being lower than he wanted to be and the way 
the physics are. I just knocked him sideways, and oh boy, Caleb just got through that. Um, but so what I did was okay. I had to slow down a lot, anyways, because of him in front of me. But I was planning to run a cut down because um, at worst scenario, like so we see. Well, we, this is probably worst scenario. Car swinging in front of us, and if we would have followed on top, we would have got collected in that. Um, but with no one behind me, that's probably the safest play to run a cutback and have the momentum for the next set of corners because then you can dictate what to do. Then you can just, all right, do I have to slide them? Do I can go bottom? Do I go top again and carry speed? It just, it just, because you know you're not going to be able to, you know, pass anyone because all the lanes are taken. I mean, the best case scenario is you might as well carry as much speed for when there is a lane open in the next set of corners. So the way we do that was to cut down. Luckily, we cut down and we're able to avoid that wreck. So this video is getting quite long. As the yellow didn't come out for a while. Um, the yellow comes out. We've got six to go. Uh, all right. So like we ran the middle a lot. We were in the bottom. We, we really haven't even touched the top that much when it might have even been the fastest line all race. <laughs> Not all race, but um, yeah, we just we didn't even touch the top. So go on this restart right now. Got a car on the bottom. Um... Bottom is not there, like, so the way, when you see, so the way he's coming in the corner um, is very much very low, way too low if he was going to stick the bottom. Um, he's going to lose a ton of speed if he slows up and runs the bottom, and if he runs the middle, he, um, like I said, if you enter the corner from the middle, you're not going to, you're going to have to slow down and arc the car too much. So, uh, those are, that's what's going through my head right now as in third. So, I have the car in front of me. So I'm like, he's going bottom or middle, and it's going to be slow. Um, because he's not he's, he's not entering in the right way. Either. So, we don't run top. Um, we end up cutting down because he had such a bad angle in the corner. We know he's going to slide up, and the exit is going to be uh, open, at least for us. So, we try to diamond it down, and just don't get it. But... He said that was a key thing. If he would have stuck the bottom there, I would have had problems. Surprising I didn't go top there. The move was to go top there. Because he would have stuck. Nah, I probably would have lifted. I would have I would have drove around. No, I could have drove around that. Top was the play to go. Shouldn't have tried I tried to cut down because they had such an angle where I knew he was gonna slide up out of two. Uh, but we weren't able to get we didn't run the best corner either though. Um, same thing. Don't follow him in. It gets scary right there. Okay, we run the same line we tried, but ran it a little bit better. We were able to get lower. Look where I am here compared to last lap, where I exited up here, and I was down here. So this lap, we got, what, 80% of the speed or whatever in this corner. We ran it better, trying to get that dig out of bottom. There's a lot of grip there. Just ain't good enough. The top's there. It's carrying all about carrying momentum. Um keeping the speed going. Leaguer gets brushed into the wall and turns down a bit. And this looks weird because he straightens his car out right here. Um, but that's all because he wanted to get this grip on corner exit. Um, so he straightened his car out to really hang his right rear out into that and to get out of the slick as much as possible. Um, that's just why it looks... Well, he was also a little too sideways here. Got a little too loose in. That's pro That might have been what it was more of. But we were luckily able to man see if i would have ran the uh middle there i don't know it'll been sticky another close call this video is getting too long so let's get together this fucking race um we go on the start so same thing he stayed down in the grip on the start you know which is fine um um like i said it, it's but we carry it we get beat up to the top still so carry it i just don't like the way he's entering that angle in um, he gets a good drive there off. Four, follow top side. Could have went middle, but we weren't close enough. Where even if something happened, like if he did tap the wall or something, we're at we're at. Okay, we're on that. I thought this was coming a little ago. So we still have three to go. Okay. Now I said everything about don't follow people into the corner. Why did I follow them in the corner here? Um. My best bet is going to be that if the top wasn't fast enough to be able to get next to him, so he was going to end up sliding up right here, 
anyways, and I would have to lift, and it would kill all of our momentum. Um, but we were able to just park the corner a little bit. Because of that half a lane higher, we entered the corner. You know, we were able to get the grip, get the grip of the right here, right, right rear. But it also allowed us, instead of slagging up because he entered lower, we're coming down the track, so that helps. Helps us exit Strager and carry momentum, get alongside of him. All right, stick the bottom. Like I said, cut it throwing a slagger here. Um, that was probably it was probably a move because there was a lot of grip too, where we could have got through here and then up, up there, and then I exit. It would he would have crossed it over, and probably clear us. Um, still, um, but a slagger wouldn't have been a terrible situation move in this situation. Um, but instead, like I said, when we're side by side, it's hard to come in and run the middle. So we go for the bottom. We didn't, we, we didn't stick, we came out, did he hit the wall? He had to hit the wall. No, it was just, okay. So I didn't feel like we hit the bottom that good, but he just didn't hit the top that good either. Um, just a little high, just came out a little higher. If I could bring a smidge lower. Um, was his momentum was gonna carry us all the way around. Again, I had to try to hit the bottom again, just a smidge too high. Um, just not slowing it down enough. If I could get this little bit of grip off that I was trying to get before when I was cutting down. So we have to go up. So now we're coming to white. Um, so now we know we have to start swinging momentum for whatever move we're gonna make and when we make it. So that's why we go back up top and follow him here. Um, brush the wall a little bit, have to cut down off of it, but that doesn't hurt us because it gives us a lot of straightaway speed here. Same thing, we're going to go, that time we didn't follow him, we used the middle to get alongside. Um, we cut a slick again, but we just went, we didn't like I said, we didn't like our bottom before, he beat us to the line before, um, so we just tried to hit the flat part of laying up. We run it good, we cut a car hide him, and we lose the race. Um, by 0.05, but it was a good race, you know, good photo finish, um, but yeah, if I would have ran the bottom there again, I wouldn't have been able to, uh, it would have been, number one, a harder line to hit, um, and I think it would have been slower, this way I was able to keep my speed up, if the line would have been, you know, in the center of the straightaway, uh, I think we would have got him, but, just because it's Lima Land, the top came through at the end, but, on all a good race, and just so many different lines ran, and this video's way too long so i'm just gonna shut the fuck up and yeah like i said i can't and then like I said, it's the most car sensitive track where depending on you know like i said the bottom came in and the top three i think it was were all running the bottom then it went away kind of came back there at the end i guess um but it's the most car sensitive track when it starts off clean at least um to, you know because if everyone runs the top and heat race as you saw at the start of the race everyone was running the middle um and so sensitive to where each car runs that no two races are really going to be the same there so that's why lima land's fun and you really need to know the lines like i said because you throw insiders is kind of a waste here um so yeah hope you guys enjoyed peace the fuck out